the Billy bookcase. I really like the ones with like the glass in them. There's some taller shelves over here. They're a little more expensive so I'm assuming maybe maybe a little better quality. I really like these though with the with the glass and I'm like that. I really wish that Vince would want one, but it's his room and he can do whatever he wants with it. Oh, this one. Look at these next to each other. Like, they're so pretty. You could put like your shoes in here. Oh, I'm sorry, not your shoes in here, your shoes over here and all your like clothes and stuff. It's so pretty. Some more taller shelving. six so this is the whole Billy bookcase situation <laughs> there are none here um, but it is for the white one so Vince went to the information to see about like ordering and I've been walking down here trying to see what's in stock they do have some things in stock but here we got the Billy black brown there's a couple of them in stock. Um, and here are some shorter Billy bookcases also, which we were trying to get a combination of the both. So I'll let you know what we decide to do because we may leave here with nothing today. Uh, this is the birch. I mean, I could just get the, a bunch of these thin ones. I like the cream colored, right? It's like this color. Yeah, it's called birch veneer. Birch veneer. I like that one. The only problem is they don't have the really wide ones. So, so we're going to get two of these. Is this going to fit in the car? All right. Fun. Let's go see if we can fit it in the car. <laughs> There's only a handful of pieces, really. There's all the little wood cork knobs. Little wood plugs, little screw hooks, and the plastic that hooks into them. These are the little stands for the shelves. 
nails for the backboard, finishing nails, and then these to secure them to the back of the wall. These little hooks can be kind of a pain to put in, but my trick, I like to hold it in my hand. When I use the hammer, you can hear when it's gone all the way. It's like, sounds like a solid knock. Mm -hmm. And this, you can hear it's got room to give. And then when it's done, it's solid. So if you have it on the ground, you can't really hear that reverberation as much. Um, I suppose if it's a big piece, it would be more difficult. But with, with these tiny pieces, especially, it's very easy. That's a very easy way to make sure they're all the way in. That's what she said. <clears throat> One of my favorite things is this, you need a flat head and a, a Phillips head, which is super annoying because there's not even much to screw. So mine flips around, so I can just flip to the Phillips to put the screw hooks in. And then when I need to um, hook the screw hooks the opposite side, I just flip my little screwdriver around and I can hook them in with that. Um, so that's a little easy. Thanks, Dad. He's the one that gave me this. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Thanks, Tony. These screw in. They even have the little bottom piece. Um, so when the wood kind of peels apart like that, it presses it back down. It's only take like a second to go in. They're so easy. That's also what she said. And then so these, <clears throat> there's four holes, uh, the, the two little cork hooks um, go on the outside and these go on the inside, you need to push them flat, um, but actually since this is the top board, these holes go on the top so you don't see them. The bottom two shelves, these would go on the bottom so you don't see them. And you gotta, gotta get a little leverage. Shove her in there, and then you have the eye hooks. I believe these are called eye hooks. Don't know why. Kind of like eyes. <laughs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're not called that. And then you just give it a squeeze, and it's tightened twice. So it's tightened by the little hook and by the little wooden cork piece thing that's not very sturdy. So yeah, and then you just do that once in the middle, once on the end, put them together. That's it. It's very, very easy. I fucked up because I was paying too much attention to explaining and filming. <laughs> I told you to act natural. Yeah, well, it's hard to do two things at once. Look at that, it pops out easy. The finished side goes on the front, moron. <laughs> the finished side? Yeah, so they only finish the front of the shelves. The back of the shelves. Oh, right, they, okay. They don't care. Uh, another thing with, I mean, it, it's good wood. It's better than like Walmart wood. Walmart wood. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's still not the best. So you don't want to like tighten it too tight. You want to tighten it just so that it doesn't give anymore. But if you go too far, you can start to hear that board crack a little bit. This is the only part that is really kind of annoying to do on your own. <clears throat> but it's not impossible by any means. So you had to lift it up, flip it, and reverse it? <laughs> Put that thing down, flip it and reverse it. I line up the, uh, the eye hooks in one end, and then I make sure it's resting, get them lined up in the middle, and then get them lined up on this end, and then I kind of, you, know, you don't want to make it even so I kind of push in a little from each side. This side's the most sturdy because it's got the front board. So then I just 
all my body pressure into this guy. <laughs> Hooks again. Oh, oops, that way. Tighten them again. You want them to grab and tighten just until they're tight and not, they're just plastic. So you don't want to crank the shit out of them. And you also don't want to use an automatic drill on any of this. Here. They give you these really easy divots to start it on on this side. Oh, almost forgot. So you want to mark off where the center board is because there's no way to t no way to tell. I mean, I suppose you could knock, but. Um, you just want to mark the center of that board so you know where you're going to nail it into. I'm going to start with the top. So you're going to nail at like the top, middle, and end? Yeah. The whole point of the Billy book cases as opposed to uh, Walmart or whatever mm -hmm. is you, they have so many more holes you can really adjust the bookshelves to your liking. So like, for example, my BS games are very short. I can have short shelves for those. They give you the two screws that go in the top of the bookshelf. Um, I assume because they want the correct length so you don't screw through the top of the bookshelf. Mm -hmm. um, they do not give you the screw to anchor it to the wall. Um, so that's the anchor for the... This is what... And you, this goes on the top of the bookshelf and then this goes on the wall and anchors it to the wall so it doesn't fall forward. Um, they do not give you the anchor screw, and I'm wondering if that's maybe kind of like a liability thing. Like, mm, you gotta use your own screw. Yeah, yeah, use your own screw. That way, we don't get screwed by <laughs> the shelves. Have little holes in them because they're not like normal shelves where you know you would just set a flat piece of metal and set it on it. These shelves, you actually hook these down into the shelf. It's just, much more secure, fits very snugly in there. And it even has this little bracket um, that pushes against uh, the side of the bookshelf to give it extra support. So it's not just being held on by this, it's also being held on by the little knob there. So they tend to be very heavy and always bend cheap shelving. Um, my buddy had one from Walmart. Not, I'm not like, not that I'm this Walmart hater, but my buddy had one from Walmart, woke up in the morning one morning, it had, it had been bowed, like he knew it was going, but he said he woke up in the morning, it was completely broken, his books were everywhere, luckily none of them got damaged, that's, that would be my big fear, you say none of them got damaged, they fell pretty neatly, but still, you know, these, these are like full inch thick, Shelves. Mm-hmm. Walmart shelves. Cheap shelves, I should say. They're nowhere near that. 
These are cheap. I mean, <laughs> these are cheap. You know, and, and as cheap as they are, like the full size Billy mm -hmm. was forty nine ninety nine. Um, the, That's this one. Yeah, it's the similar size at Walmart. It might not be as wide. The similar size at Walmart was only twenty five. So I mean. I mean, it's good if you like need just maybe one shelf. Yeah, I mean, it's good if you're like using it to display your like tchotchkes and crap on it that like, don't weigh anything. <laughs> but if you're putting heavy books on it, like, and that's yeah. what a lot of the, cause I was looking up reviews of those shows from Walmart. Um, and a lot of the pictures were people who had little tchotchkes on them. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, oh yeah, it's great. It holds fine. It's like, yeah, you got ten pounds on each shelf of that. Do we want it like back so it's straight up and down, or do we want it to lean a little bit? Mm. Or should I do it like that? Like away from the wall? Yeah. A little because of the the baseboard. Okay. Now there is no insert for this, so I'm gonna put this over. Screw it in. So the billies come with this like built in little lip that's supposed to go over your baseboard and obviously like it was too short for ours. Now we could have cut it or we could have put like some boards underneath to lift it up but we figured we're not going to be here for more than like a couple of years and it's actually very sturdy as it is so I just wanted to show you guys this um, just in case. Like yeah. sturdy now. Sturdy. It's not moving. And this is a good way to measure. It goes about to my middle knuckle and stops. And on this side goes to my middle knuckle and stops. So they're about the same distance from the wall. There you go. So what you call doing it the easy way. But I mean honestly it's the best way. Great job. Great job. Make sure it's lined up, and then you just press, and they pop right in.
All right, guys, that is it for the room. I love the way that it turned out. I think it's so cozy and comfortable, and I actually spend a lot of time in here now. Can you believe that all of this costs under $300? Like, my mind is blown. That is insane, especially for the quality. I'm so happy with it. We do have to put one more shelf right here, but they were out of stock, so we'll get that in the future. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys liked this video. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have Billy Book cases and what you think about them. Do you think that the quality is good? Do you think that the price is good? And anyways, thanks again so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next one.